covered. This is something remarkable. The UK would like to thank all of those who have been part of the journey, those who are in the room now and those who were here before and are not with us today. We would not be here without them and without you, and we are very really proud to be in the company of those who have gone before, as well as those who are here. Nothing like this can happen without a lot of organisation, and a few words can express our appreciation of for the Secretariat's work in this regard to make this conference run so smoothly and achieve what we've had. So we'd like to thank the Secretariat from the bottom of our heart, those who've supported us in the room, the support staff here, and the translators. But events like this need a time and a place. And the place is Pretoria, the country is South Africa, the continent is Africa, and the time is now. Does now feel great? We know that only time will tell how successful this protocol will be. But the future looks bright from where we are sitting. This is a powerful signal to the world. We can help to lead to better financing, more trade, greater development, leading to better prosperity throughout the world. <coughs> and the UK government therefore, commend, therefore commends this protocol to the governments of the world and the peoples of the world. We'd be proud to be part of this conference. And if I may, I don't, I've not had the opportunity to refer to the distinguished delegates of my own delegation in the uh, interjections I've made. So at this point, I would like to thank publicly Sir Roy Good, who's also acted as our rapporteur, and Professor Louise Gulliver. Without them, our contribution would not have been as helpful, I hope, as it has been. Finally, President, you threatened us on all the monication that we will not be allowed to leave. It is true to say that when we left the UK in London, it was pouring with rain. <laughs> we hope that when we leave South Africa over the next few days, we don't take the rain with us. <laughs> Thank you.